Why, hello there, friends, family, and everything in between. It's Dylan from Alton Universe is bringing you another round of modern. On the left, we have Mark Mara playing Hammer equals Time. Time equals Hammer. That's right. It's Mono White Hammer Time. I actually don't know if he's flashing another color. Uh, and on the right, we have Alex Sargent playing Rhino Cascade, Teamer Crash, or Teamer Football, Teamer Crashcade, whatever we're referring to this deck as now. Mark. Leads on a plant into a giver of runes. Alex is going to lead on a triumph and pitch a violent opera to evoke a fury here. Doing some damage in the process. There is an ornithopter. Doing its best. Mark, very, <laughs> very nice. I didn't play the ornithopter turn one because I would have also died to the fury. And that uh, would not have been fun. Mark putting Alex on uh, Red Black Scam, as that is another deck that Alex plays pretty often at the store. Though he has rotated back to Cascade the last couple weeks. There's an Ink Moth Nexus, and I'm going to take this time to give you a little bit of an ad read. That's right. Don't worry, it's not too long. I have two cool things to talk about. The first is happening on Saturday, February 11th. That's right, that is 10 days from when this is recorded, and 9 days after when this is posted. We're having a Phyrexia All Will Be One Sealed RCQ event at Alter Universe Bluebell. That is a regional championship qualifier where first and second place will get invites to regional championship at DreamHack Dallas. And some other stuff. Like store credit, top eight pins, top eight la or winner lanyards, top eight promos. What are those promos you ask? Well, if you enter the event, you get a mystical dispute. It's a full art promo. And top eight will get a full art promo thing in the ice, which is pretty cool. Now, because this is a sealed one, this is a little bit different than our usual RCQs. Entry will be $45. Each player gets six packs of Phyrexia. All will be one to use to build their decks. Lands will be provided for free at the event, of course. Registration will open at 10 a.m. Deck building starts at 11 a.m. And players must arrive before or must arrive for the beginning of deck building. There's a 64-player limit to this event. And then if you pre-register by calling the store or going to the store, you are guaranteed a spot in the event. Pre-registration is open now. Stop in the AU Blue Belt or call with your card to pre-register. Also, further mention, it will be a top 8 booster draft with Phyrexia all be one Before I get to the next little ad read, we're going to check back on the game. Mark has two constructs in play, a Shadow Spear and an Ornithopter. Alex has three lands open and more than likely a Cascade card in his hand. Right. Mark plays a Planes here. Uh, to tap that Planes. Plays a Colossus Hammer. Making his construct into a 5 5 that he's going to attack with right now. Going to combat. Well, while Alex does this thing that may or may not be casting a Violent Outburst and Cascading, let's talk about the other cool thing that's happening pretty soon. I scrolled the wrong way. No. -ho. Nope, I scrolled the right way. I have too many things on here. Alright, Saturday, February 25th, we're having another DreamHack Magic Modern Art Regional Championship Qualifier. This time it'll be Modern. That's the format. That is Saturday, Saturday, February 25th at Alter University of Bluebell. Entry will be $30. Pre-registration opens at 11 a.m. Tournament begins at noon. First and second place get invites to the Regional Championship at DreamHack Dallas a amount of store credit and then the winner gets uh winner and top eight promos second place will get a top eight promo and then credit all that jazz entry once again will get you a mystical dispute full art promo top eight gets you a thing in the ice and yeah registration opens at 11 a.m tournament begins at noon you can call the store to pre-register if you would like to uh or stop by or just come on the day of that is the ad reads We've got some rhinos coming into play, specifically Rhyhorns from Jungle. This is when it's fossil and somebody lets me know that I'm wrong and an idiot. I should be sad. I am the primary Pokemon player for the story. No, because... You're right, you're right, you're right. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah, you're good. Rhyhorn's dead. Rhyhorn's dead. Yep. Draw? Yep. Alright, that violent outburst will give plus one. To the one that blocks, therefore it will kill the construct. Yeah, well, I played the hammer specifically to play around rhinos, and then I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. okay, it was jungle. Fact checking myself real quick. I haven't played this deck since like before Las Vegas, so I'm a little, little rusty. 
So this is not a favorable matchup here for Alex. Hammer kind of just gets to do what he wants to do. There is interaction that Reiner's does have, but I don't know if I think it's good enough. Cast a sprinkly drum here. The Shadow Spirit of the Construct. Attack it in. Right uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alex is going to try and petty theft there. They brazen borrower. The adventure. Uh, She'll pay one life. Going to 19 here. It's going to cast Blacksmith Skill. She'll give plus two. She'll uh, give Indestructible and Hexproof. And then if it's an artifact creature, it gets plus two, plus two. Until end of turn. Coming in for 8 damage, I think? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's a 6-6 right now. It'll be an 8-8 after Blacksmith skill. Yeah, we're going to have to... Sure, so we'll block. Or we'll trample over because of the Shadow Spear. Mark will gain 8. Petty Death will not resolve. Therefore, it will not go to the Adventure Zone. Sure. Before damage... I vaguely feel like it's a podcast. That I'm just, like, forgetting about. 5 will trample. Yeah. So you go to 11... I gain 9, I go to 28, and I will pass the turn to you. Yep. We did something with the Sprinkly Drum, and I don't know what. Because we tapped the Ornithopter. Um, This is round two of our weekly modern tournament. If you want to come play modern with us, we have it every Monday at Alternate Universities Blue Belt, 7 p.m. Sometimes 7 or 5, because people like to show up late, and that's okay. Kind of. And we stream it every Monday if you're unable to, to make it to the store. You can watch us live at Alternate Universities Live on Twitch. Now, once again, trying to petty theft. This time, Doing so successfully. Uh, the Stoneforge Forge Mystic. We will be able to tutor. Who doesn't get the Cauldra Complete? Cauldra Compliat. Complete. I actually did not know that though for a while. I didn't know Complete was a thing because I wasn't up to date with for, uh, magical lore. And people have lovingly explained to me that Complete is how you pronounce that. And how Phyrexians take over things. Speaking of Phyrexians taking over things, Phyrexia will be taking over the store this weekend as we are hosting a Phyrexia All Will Be One pre release event Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Multiple tournaments each day except for Sunday. Super cool set. I definitely recommend coming out. I actually probably will be coming out and playing at least one of the events. I never show up for limited events. But there's a lot of cool stuff here. I need a couple cards from a commander deck, you know? Hopefully, we'll pack it. <laughs> nice. Chances are low. Are there a lot of competitive events for that around here? I haven't like seen too many. Yeah. Yeah. They, so the game just came out in December. Right. I never heard of like big events starting to come out in the next month. Um, in your end step, I'll draw from Sunday Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to activate Sunday Canyon's ability here to sacrifice the draw card. Actually, I want to put the planes in the yard, though. That's 
Okay. Mistakes like that are fairly common, but also fairly fun. All right, two mana here. Put a pure skill power into play. I think this is going to spell the end for Alex. White. Go to slide. Activate Stoneforge. Sure. A hammer and a shadow spear onto yep. that Trigger. ornithopter, making it an 11 11 <laughs> or 11 13 flyer. Combat. And oh, the Jeff Sleeve. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Putting Culture Complete into play. Yep. Yeah. The Von Alpers. Go put the Rhinos into play. Notably, Mark did miss a draw trigger. Yep. He did put yep. an equipment into play. Four, four, or five, which would trigger Pierce Scope out of the draw card. So this is a 11 13, and this is a 5 5. Both of these things have trample. So, well, we just, well, we block. Um, so, I'm trying to think about how much is trampling over here. Is that uh, enough to kill me? This would be okay, I think no matter what he blocks here, it takes 10, 8 damage and goes down to 2. 7 would trample here, and 1 would trample here. Uh, in the current config, 10, 11. Yeah, it's an 11 power. But I think they're counted it up. I'm thinking here if I want to check it. Yep. I'm going to become immense on this one. Ooh, we're going to become immense. I don't even know what this does. On the one blocking the Cauldre complete, oh, which is really strange. Yeah, sure. Because Cauldre will just exile it now. Okay. So, this is the That is the Delve yeah, so spell that grows the stuff. This will deal damage, trigger exile it. Oh, right, I guess this is ladder. Okay, yep, uh, nothing will trample but uh, on that side, but you'll still take seven trample here, so you're at three. Yeah. And I'll gain 11, I'm at 39. I'm pretty, yeah, you, I yeah. concede. Okay. <laughs> I concede. 19. We'll play Burrington Forge Temple. Pass the game. Right. Game one goes to Mark. Uh, Alex realizing he kind of can't play through what was going on there. Mark leaves on a silent clearing and plays a Burrington Forge Tender. I'll explain after the game. Try it. <laughs> the, 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 like, the man Bro, in that deck is miserable. You know something I don't? I guess it's not miserable. It's very possible. So much, like, oh, you ask my modern players, I do not play Magic. A ton of land, so you sort of like skinny your teeth. I'm oh, such a fucking idiot. I mean, I should have gotten the triumph. Immediately punished. What a fucking loser. Immediately punished. punished. <laughs> Bird to Forge Tender. Some nice anti fury tech here. Um, we're going to play an Udawara. Yep. We're going to Udawara, Soaring City. Drop for Chargers. Alex does not have red mana. There's an Ink Moth Nexus. Taps the Ink Moth, plays a Springleaf Drum. And then it's going to play Dranith Magistrate. Ooh, that's big. Yep, that's good. Good. <laughs> what a card. Brazen Bar going to bounce the Dranith Magistrate here. That card is so bad. Back to my hand. I was getting like, petty after Not like, not really. Uh, untap. You're up. Draw. Yep. Fetch. Oh, he's at it. Draws the, fan, the land to fetch the red card. <laughs> I should. Would you replay it? Just lose. Go home. Um, <laughs> I did yeah, it. Yeah. No. Never didn't have it. That's what we like to see. I'm looking for a Oh, good. 
there's only one of these fucking lands in the whole deck. When you use like the double on color fetch for the double on color shock, it should cost you like one less. Wait, two. Shard the Sage in here. Gonna get a Cascade Trigger. Yeah, the Blood Moon. There's a Crashing Footfalls. Yep. Gonna make sure that Blood Moon is sufficiently <laughs> randomized. Yeah, sufficiently randomized. Two Rhyhorns come out to play. When did they evolve into Rhydons? There's a Plains. Cigar to Zade. Animate. I'll take one to animate Ink Moth sure. Nexus here. Yep. We'll go to combat, attack Ink for one blockers. in the air. Uh, yep, on and then after so blockers, fly, right? yep. Yep. Uh, make we're mana. going to flash yep. in a uh, well Colossus Hammer it, right? and do 11 yeah, infect damage to Alex, and that will be uh, game two such. going to Mark. Jeez. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a great rest of your day. There's a fist bump that wasn't acknowledged at first. Okay. Have a great day, folks. Forge Tender, do you want to?